Tesla's autopilot system is the closest thing we have at the moment to a fully autonomous driving system, which is why we're on the freeways outside Melbourne testing it out in a Model S P90D. As you can see, we're surrounded by trucks and trucks and more trucks. God, there's a lot of trucks. But we're gonna give two quick pulls on the cruise control stalk and the car's gonna take control and I can now take my hands off and let it steer itself. Oh, it's drifting towards the truck. I do not like that at all. Woo! Oh, truck merging, truck merging, car. There's sonar sensors all around the car, a radar on the front as well as a camera to pick up lane markings and the other cars. And I can see on the dash here, there's little yellow and red markings that show essentially what the car sees. This van on my right hand side shows up as a yellow blotch at the front and the back. And this truck here shows up as a red mark because we're quite close to it. The system is pretty competent actually. It does a good job, although it's really unnerving sitting here with my hands away from the wheel, letting it steer itself. As you'd expect of a new system, there's been a few mistakes when we've been behind the wheel. This morning the car tried to change lanes into a curve and it also steered us into a service lane with a nice big metal barrier a couple of days ago. That said, if you have to wrench the wheel away and really jump in, the car logs everything. So that info is sent back to Tesla where it goes, that's a curb, don't steer into it again and shares all that information with all the other Teslas using the system around the world. Essentially, the car's always learning and that means that all the other cars with the same system are learning the same thing. When people said that autonomous cars would be on the road by 2020, I'll admit I thought they were a little bit crazy, but sitting here in 2015 with a car that can tackle 20, maybe even 30% of the driving, all of a sudden they don't seem quite so nuts. Yes, it's the easier 20 or 30% and the driver's always got to be switched on, but five years seems like a long time given the amount of development miles that Tesla and Google are doing. Maybe in five years time a competent human driver won't be all that special after all. <laughs>